Oh, I love POW so much. It's so amazing. Look at that. Just rainbow. Hey, everyone. So, um, <laughs> I figured today would be a good date because I have to do it anyway, but uh, to do something that I've been meaning to do for a while, and that is revisiting some of my early videos. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, I'm sure long-term viewers, long-time viewers have noticed, but um, the videos have gotten better. Uh, my early ones are a little rough for me to watch, and yeah, I feel like we could redo them much better now. So uh, yeah, there's three that we're gonna be redoing, and again, I have to redo these things anyway, so I figured, Today, we're gonna start with um, how to polish an abalone, and we're gonna do it the right way this time. <laughs> All right, so here are the shells in question. We've got two green abalone. These are Midas, and they're amazing. They look so cool. And then uh, it's elsewhere, but I also have two Pawa. So, um, these are gonna take the Dremel, which you've seen before if you've watched that video. They take the Dremel because then you can follow all of those contours, and yeah, you make it a much more natural shape than just grinding everything down. The power does not have those ridges the same way. So we can just do that on the flat lap. So let's just go do that. Wait, what, what am I doing? I shouldn't be starting with Abel or the Pow. I should be ending with the Pow. <laughs> That's like the grand finale type stuff right there. Anyway, uh, I guess let's start on a, one of those Midas. All right, so this is a Midas abalone, and you can see it's got all those ridges. Well, we're going to do it both ways. If you level them, they just look so cool. So we're going to do this one that way, and then we'll do the rest on the Dremel. And they're so cool. Oh, uh, before we go any further, I wanted to point something out. So, in my last abalone video, I had a bunch of people give me flack for the way I pronounce abalone. Instead of saying it abalone. Abalone is an incorrect pronunciation. And if you don't believe me, we will ask the all-knowing uh, internet entity known as Google. Alright, so I looked it up. We asked the Googles, the lord of uh, internet stuff. And as you can see, if you can see, yeah, anyway. Abalone. Abalone. See, there's an E at the end. I'm not insane. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not doing this to like point out toward any specific person. I just wanted to prove uh, to myself and everyone else that I'm not going crazy, which that might not be true if we're being honest. Okay, I was wrong. Uh, it's too big. <laughs> I don't have enough room on my flat lap to do this one on the flat lap, so I guess we're just going straight to the, you know, the thingy. Which actually, I do need to finish the the power on the flat on the Dremel as well, <laughs> which I just described as the thingy. Anyway, let's uh, move on over. All right, we're over at the bench. It's still a mess from uh, the koi carving. I think that's come out already. Yeah, it's come out. Anyway, <laughs> so what we're going to be using is. These two, focus, sir, every time, dude, this battle is ongoing. These two diamond burrs right here, as well as this one right here, that's going to be all of our strong removing stuff, and then we'll go back over with these, which you can get at pretty much most hardware stores, actually. They're kind of all over the place. Uh, I'm going to use various ones. I don't know which ones I'm going to use specifically, but those, roughly. <laughs> And then to polish, where are they? We're gonna use these. These are Nova points. This is 280, this is 600, and then we'll do the rest with sandpaper. Should go really fast. Also, also, sorry, one sec, I'm unhooking it. Also, super important. When you're working with abalone, you need to be wearing one of these at all time and work it wet. Good thing that didn't break. <laughs> Dude, I am all over the place today. Anyway, though, yeah, it is some nasty stuff, so make sure your lungs are protected. Honestly, you should be wearing one. If you carve literally anything, wood included, but abalone is especially nasty. Anyway, though, yeah, we're just gonna go around and do a little bit of, you know... You know what? I'm running low on time. 
and apparently patience, so uh, I think I have a way to make this way faster. Alright, so, shell is level. So now all we need to do is uh, go along the whole thing and polish it. Give it a good old sandily sand. Uh, normally you could use Nova points. Where is it? It's not near me. We'll just use this. Oh, better yet, we'll use this as an example. Uh, if you could, you could use Nova point. Wow, 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 wow. You could normally use Nova points to get that polish, um, if they're smooth like that. But this one has a bunch of track marks from uh, worm shells and boring clamps. See how boring that clam is? It just sits there. Now, actually, when I say boring clams, I mean these little monsters right here. Um, yeah, <laughs> you'll see them a lot in abalone. Like all of these little trench marks in here. Those are all from boring clams. And yeah, um, the problem is they add a lot of texture once you get down there. These are all sh pretty sharp edges, so that would just destroy a Nova point. So, unfortunately, <laughs> We have to do this the old-fashioned way with elbow grease. Alrighty, well, oh, with that one out of the way, let us move on to one of these. This is a green abalone, green haliotis. And for this one, I think we're gonna follow all of the little ribs, the riblies. It takes considerably less time when you just smooth it out like this one. But that being said, there's something a little bit magical about a polished abalone when you follow those lines. You know what, actually, I think I'm gonna use the other one for that because this one kinda has a bunch of worm eating stuff. I just talked myself out of it. So we're gonna do the other one. <laughs> okay, so I figured I'd explain what I'm doing really quick before we get too far ahead on this. So, uh, with the top, if it'll focus, please focus. Every time, camera. Uh, I take a hard-edged burr, like this one, and then come around this outside, and that really defines the whirl. And then I'll flatten this off right here, just because there is some ripple, but <laughs> you, it's a nightmare. You don't want to do that. Just, just make it level. We'll get all these ripples. And then I will come in with this spherical doohickey, which is the technical term. And if you look at these rays, they all kind of follow a trajectory. These ones are more nubs, so I'll come in here and just literally trench that out all the way around and then we'll kind of isolate these. But when it comes to the rays, yeah, you just kind of follow them all the way up. shell is gone so we're gonna take this which is a much softer grit and go over everything it's kind of just gonna get rid of the deep gouges from the diamond burrs all right all the deep gouges are gone now we start the tedious part and you'll see why I call it tedious so now we take this which is our low grit Nova point and go over literally everything. And then when we're done with that, we get to do it three more times. <laughs> you can, you, 
can probably see now why I don't do this method very often. Uh, it looks wonderful. I think if you're going for a natural look, it is probably the best way to, to do it. It looks wonderful, but my gosh, is it tedious and does it take a while? <laughs> like uh, this one, for example, it's probably like, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours, maybe start to finish. I'm like six hours into this one already. So, yeah, you can see there. this one takes a little bit more love, but I, I think it's worth it. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I think the extra time's worth it. It looks good. It's finished, and I'd say it looks wonderful. Yeah, these are a labor of love for sure. <laughs> they look so good though. That natural shape maintained, like it just, it looks wonderful. But it takes forever. So uh, if you want to do this, be warned that it takes a minute. <laughs> There's a lot of fine intricate detail in here, but they're gorgeous and I love them. So I guess with that being finished, now we can move on to the finish the power fun. But yeah, uh, just to give an example, doing a smooth finish, that probably took an hour and a half, two hours. This one took like eight to get that good polish and got all the every all the little bits of outer shell removed and then all the scratches removed and polished up. Yeah, it takes a while. <laughs> They're so pretty though. All right, power. It's so amazing. Look at that. Just rainbow. And uh, believe it or not, it's not even showing half the color on camera. Abalone is some weird stuff to, to get videos of um, because uh, the way the Pearl works, actually, the Naker. Uh, it, the reason you see the color play in person the way you do is it's because you're seeing it with binocular vision. So a camera lens will literally never be able to capture that full color which is unfortunate when you're, you know, trying to make videos showing off, uh, you know, abalone. Anyway, though, yeah, it's done. It's amazing. You can see why I love Powa so much. And also, another reason you can see why I love Powa so much. So, here's a Powa. <laughs> we don't have to make that choice of if we're going to follow the contours or just smooth it out because they don't have contours. I mean, they've got a little bit on this side. But other than that, it's they're already perfectly smooth. So, we don't have to make that. Oh, where did I put it? Where did it go? Where is it? I don't know where it went. Well, you, you, oh, it's right in front of me. Anyway, you have to make that decision of if you're going to follow the contours or level everything smooth. You just follow it naturally, and it's already smooth. We're going to do a smooth polish on this one. And then, because this that's actually the same species as this right here. So it should provide a pretty good, you know, side-by-side -side comparison between uh, contour polishing and normal, just regular smoothening. So yeah, let's just head over to the flat lap and smooth this all out. Normally I love, I prefer to contour polish these ones, but as you can see, it's extremely worm eaten, which means we're gonna need to get pretty much through all of those. And yeah, the shell is literally like coming off. So yeah, there's no way of doing a contour polish on this one. Therefore, it's a perfect one for smooth polishing. <laughs> So I'm gonna take a break really quick just to explain what I'm doing. I mean, it's pretty obvious I'm just grinding it to get through the shell layer. But what I'm doing past that, as you can see, it is super, super worm-eaten. Actually, here, let me get a little closer. Oh no, 
You know what? I got a flashlight. <laughs> Sorry, my phone just told me it's about to die. There we go. So, if you look, you can see all these little pores and these tracks and these little tunnels from the, the boring clams. The super lame clams that are not fun at parties. Anyway, <laughs> we're, we're trying to grind through so we can get past all that stuff. Because if you look, it does actually end at a certain point. With any other shell, you would probably not be able to do this, but this is actually a fairly big and very, very thick one. So we can just keep going. It's going to be pretty thin, as you can see. But we're still going to get the best result out of it, I think, I believe. So, it's leveled and polished up to 600 grit. Unfortunately, ah, that's so pretty. Look at that heart. It's just so crazy. Anyway though, unfortunately, if you want to do a full polish, there's no way around it. Uh, we still have to go over to the over to the rotary tool so that we can clean up this little corner right here. If you try doing it on the flat lap, you'll just grind the little whirl off. And that's not what we want to do. So, we just have to do this and then polish and we're done. But man oh man. That, that heart is some crazy stuff. Here, let me take the brightness down. Yeah. Look at that. that one. Oh, that is so pretty. It's not often that I go that deep into the heart, but my gosh, it is just stunning. Like, look at the color. It's just amazing. And it's kind of, I don't know, it's hard to see through the camera, but <laughs> that pearl just changes color depending on what angle you're looking at it at. It's so pretty. I love it. Well, there you have it. Four uh, <laughs> very unique methods of reaching the same conclusion, basically. We've got angle grinder. We've got flat lap. Uh, I guess three. I Because <laughs> this is flat lap too. And then the long time consuming way. But it looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, they're beautiful. And as you can see, it's really not that hard. Well, this one's time consuming, but definitely not hard. It's just tedious. Anyway, though, yeah, I hope this helps with anyone wanting to get into abalone because I think it's more intimidating than actually, you know, is in reality. So, yeah, give it a shot. You will be very satisfied because I promise you these things look like half as vibrant in this video as they do in person. If you've never seen a polished abalone in person, you got to do it just for that reason. You'll love it. It's amazing. Alrighty. Well, I think that's going to do it for this one. Um, again, I think we're going to go through and do a few more just because, yeah, they are, there are some of my old uh, videos that have some great information delivered in the whole just wrong way. Like, I cringe so hard watching them. So, uh, I don't know which ones, but we'll probably do some more. But, yeah, this is one that has been needing to get readdressed. <laughs> so, I hope this helps. Any of you that want to uh, polish some abalone yourselves, it's uh, really easy. And, yeah, easy. I don't know what else to say. Easy. Let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments. And, as always, if this is something that you enjoyed, uh, consider subscribing. Because we do this variety of thing regularly. I'll have links to various stuff in the description. And, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time.